And here comes the white team. Stavia White taking the field. They are fired up for this game. And the blue team, the captains rejoin the team so they can come through the banner together. I think you want to give the edge to Billy Fisher's team to see how some players actually played in this championship game last year. But you can't discount Greg Sawyer's team. He beat the, I guess you can say, heavily favored Oak, Oak Mountain Red team that scored almost 40 points a game to even make it to this game. That's right. They were absolutely a destroying team all year long, but Greg Sawyer put together a great defense. And now here it comes that team right now. Let's stay here. And Oren Ford leads the Rebels out onto the field. Oren Lucky, Lucky Ford. Oren Lucky Ford. They call him Lucky. As he's been their lucky charm so far this year. Great spirit for this team. Warren Ford leads them out on the field, and I think he was joined very closely by Happy Hayes, Hap, also known as Hap, also known as Parker Hayes. Takes him to the sideline. The white team has a first down and 10 on about the 35 yard line. And they hand it off again to Anderson. He's looking for some running room around this left-hand side. He steps out of bounds, crosses midfield, steps out of bounds on about the 37-yard line. And as the blue team steps to the line to start it off here in the fourth quarter. Of course, the first play was a punt by the white team. Blue team lines up. And they hit it off 22, Smythe, he's looking for some running room, he's got a hole, he could go all the way, can anybody get him? Oh my goodness, a, 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 let's see, a 70 yard, this is a shorter field than normal, a 70 yard touchdown run for number 22, Sean Smythe, Sean the Electron Smythe, that's why they call him the Electron. He can spark some life into what appeared to be on the first two possessions a lifeless offense today. Sean the Electron Smythe with a 70 yard touchdown run. And Dazio with the keeper around the right hand side. He's got some running room. Oh, and he almost breaks it. A nice game by Pete Dazio. 11 yards on the play, enough for the first down. And what do they go with? Pete Dazio with the quarterback keeper. Uh-oh, and he gets more than enough for the first down. First down and then some. A nice game by Pete Dazio, nice rushing. Obviously good blocking as well. Minute and 16 seconds are on the clock. Man in motion coming to the left-hand side. What's the play call gonna be? They're coming right at him on the left-hand side. They get deep penetration initially. Dazio still running. And they finally bring him down on the nine yard line. Going under 20 seconds, and a fumble, and who's gonna pick it up? The blue team gets it! Oh my goodness, what a break for Vestavia Blue. There's our halftime score. The Vestavia Blue, basically one play separates this game here, has made this game. The Vestavia Blue team leads it seven to zero. And they handed to 21, Jalen Henderson there. He breaks one tackle, he is still standing. He could go all the way, he's still running. Finally, brought down on about, that looks like, the 10 yard line. And Dazio drops back, he's got the ball. He's gonna be the ball carrier. Did he get in? They are saying he did not get in. The blue team will get the ball back on about the one yard line. Like a little confusion about the line up there. They hand it to 22, Sean Smythe. Uh-oh, a fumble. And the white team recovers. Oh, my goodness. That was the break that the white team needed. What an amazing turn of fortune here. Blue team with a fumble, white team recovers. Now they'll have a fresh set of downs here to score. And they go to the quarterback keeper right up the middle. Dazio still standing. He walks in, standing up. Touchdown, Vestavia White. Pete Dazio with the five yard touchdown run right up the middle. He hammers it in. 
for the touchdown. And a big sigh of relief for the white team. And Dazio drops back, hands it to Jalen Henderson. He's got some running room. And he's forced out of bounds on about the 32, 33 yard line. He crosses midfield. That'll be a first down for the white team. Man in motion on the left hand side. Jalen looks like he started a little early. They did throw the flag, so that's going to come back. And he's still running. And it's for not because that one's going to come back there. And I saw two flags actually thrown during the play. They have to pick up the first down or Vestavia Blue will get one more opportunity to try to score prior to the end of the game, prior to the end of regulation play. What's the play call? The Dazio with the quarterback keeper. Got a lot of lead blockers out there. He fails to get the first down. And Vestavia Blue will take over with 58 seconds on the clock. This blue team has come a long way since the beginning of the season. Smythe, the ball carrier around the left-hand side. He's got some running. We got a face mask there. There's a penalty. He could go all the way. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. This could be the game here, folks. Number 22, Sean the Electron Smythe with the touchdown carry. There is a flag on the play, but I think that's going to be a face mask penalty is what I saw. Got a little grab of the face mask prior, but he made it. Face mask against the white. The ball is declined. Vestavia Blue scores. The score now, 13-7, to 7, 24 seconds on the clock. What an amazing run by number 22, Sean Smythe. Great call by the coaches. Great blocking all the way around. Blue hoping to hold him, but a very capable white. He drops back for the pass. And incomplete. Vestavia Blue wins it. The underdog comes into the playoffs, knocks off the number one team in the league, and knocks off the crosstown rivals, the Vestavia White team, to win the Super Bowl today. Vestavia Blue will be crowned the champion. Both of these teams with very, very good teams, very good seasons, and something the city of Vestavia Hills should be proud of. Vestavia Blue wins it against a very capable Vestavia White team. Final score, 13 to seven.